Meanwhile, remembrances continue to pour in for former Louisiana Governor Mike Foster, who died yesterday at the age of 90, leaving a legacy that's still alive in state politics. Fox 44's Harrison Golden spoke with those who knew him. If you want a governor who is polished and rehearsed, that would not be Mike Foster. Political writer Jeremy Alford has covered every Louisiana governor since Mike Foster. He spoke from the cuff, he was a little gruff, and I, I think that was, that was part of his charm. Equal parts up front and down home. I'd gotten a tip that Mike Foster was uh, taking the state police helicopter down to his uh, home in Franklin, and I'll never forget his answer. He said, so what? My job as governor is to make decisions, and I can make decisions just as easily at home in Franklin as I can in the governor's mansion. You kind of always felt like you knew where he stood, um, and you knew where he wanted to take the state. Literally, I think we were made for each other. Roy Fletcher managed Foster's bids for governor. When we started that campaign, there was a poll run. He literally did not get a vote. I'm not talking about he didn't get a percent. He didn't get a vote. That well changed by fall 1995. Fiercely independent. When Foster got enough votes to win the governor's mansion. My whole thing with him was let Foster be Foster, and he let Fletcher be Fletcher. So that was kind of the way we worked. And it did work. Re-election kept Foster on the job until 2004. And so his legacy, it's not just in some textbook or in some old war story or two, it's in the Capitol today. Higher education uh, today in Louisiana has gone through some, some very difficult times, but I dare say we, we could not have survived those times without the leadership of Governor Foster. Like Tufts Tuition Aid and the state's community and technical system, which Foster himself fostered. I think he was the last governor we had in Louisiana who was untouched are unmoved by national politics. I'm growing my beard in Mike Foster tribute. He always grew one when it comes to winter, getting ready for duck season. So I think if everyone's facing tribute, once you grow a beard and honor Mike Foster, he did it every single uh, year. He was in office at this point in time. Grandpa, I love you. Mike Foster, Governor. Harrison Golden, Fox 44 News.